Welcome guys. So in this video, we try to prove a uh, famous results in a linear algebra. Also, very uh, many people I like to ask the rank A T A is the same as rank A for uh, A is the n by n complex matrices or uh, n by n and n by n real matrices. Okay. So the proof based on a famous theorem say that the nullity of A, basic dimension. Plus the dimension of uh, 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 plus the rank A will be n. So that means the rank A for any linear transformation can be written, written as this. Okay, so this tells us that uh, if we can show the dimension of null A. Is the same as dimension of null ATA, then we have a proof. Okay, so we are trying to prove this. Okay, so I claim that the null A is the same as a set, as a sense as null uh, ATA. Okay, so let me recall that the uh, null for some linear transformation B is the vector in the n-dimensional or maybe a complex and dimensional. Uh, okay, I should use real. Okay, so BV is zero, oh, which is a linear uh, subspace. Okay, so uh, okay, so the first what I want to say is null A is a subset of uh, null ATA. So this is trivial uh, since uh, X belongs to null A. That means AX is zero, so that means uh, ATAX is zero, so that makes X belongs to null ATA. <coughs> okay, and then next we are trying to show the converse. Okay, and uh, this is also easy. So if we take X, we have ATAX to be zero. So that means x t a t a x is zero. That means a x the length of the a x is zero. So by the property of the length, a x is zero. So uh, x belongs to null a. So dimension of null a is the same as the dimension of null a t a since they are the same space. So rank A is the same as rank A T A. <coughs> That's it. And I will see you guys in other videos. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks.